The present worth of a sum due some time hence is 576 rupees and the banker's gain is 16 rupees. What is the true discount? Okay, so we have been asked what is the true discount? Well, true discount is basically the interest earned on the present worth and that's PNR upon 100, right? The present worth is given as 576. So this is 576 times let like, the number of years and the rate be N and R. So NR upon 100, right? So you need this value of NR to calculate the true discount. Well, you can get that because you have been given what is the banker's gain. So banker's gain is basically the banker's discount minus the true discount, isn't it? Now banker's gain is given as 16, so I can write 16 is equals to what is the formula for calculating the banker's discount? Well, it is A N R upon 100, right? Minus true discount is P N R upon 100. So this is P N R upon 100, right? So 16 is equals to I have N R upon 100 times A minus P, right? But A minus P is basically the true discount. So I can write 16 times 100 divided by this A minus P comes down and which is true discount. So divided by true discount is equals to N R. We know the value of NR now, put that into this. So this is equals to 576 upon 100 times NR is 16 times 100 divided by true discount. Right, this gets cancelled out. On the left hand side, I have now true discount square, which is equals to 576 times 16. Right, taking under root, I get true discount is equals to 576 root is 24 times root 16 is 4. So 24 times 4 is 96. So we've got the true discount that is 96 rupees. The banker's discount on 1600 rupees at 15% per annum is the same as true discount on rupees 1680 for the same time and the same rate. What is the time? So we have been given that the banker's discount is equal to the true discount and the amounts are basically different. So let us write the formula for both of these. The formula for calculating the banker's discount given the amount is ANR upon 100 and the formula for calculating the true discount is if you know the amount it is A times N times R upon 100 plus N times R. Right, so we can cancel out the N and R here. Let us put in the values A1 is 1600 divided by 100 here is equal to A2 is 1680 upon I have 100 plus N times R is 15, right? So these two zeros cancels out and moving the 100 plus N times 15 to the left, I get 1600 plus I have 16 times 15 N, right? This is 1680. So I have 16 times 15 times N is equal to 1680 minus 1600, that's 80. Right? So, I can cancel out terms here. 8 twos are 16, 8 times 10 is 80. Right? So, 2 times 5 is 10 and 5 times 3 is 15. So, I can write n is equal to 1 by 3 years. And how much is 1 by 3 years? What is the one third of 12 months? Well, it is 4 months. So, we have found out the answer that is option B. The banker's discount on a certain sum due two years hence is 11 tenth of the true discount. What is the rate percentage? So we have been given that the banker's discount is 11 tenth of the true discount. So BD is equals to 11 by 10 of TD. Right? Now let us put in the formulas. The formula for Banker's discount, if the amount is known, is A N R upon 100. Right? It is equals to 11 by 10 of true discounts formula. If you know the amount is A N R upon 100 plus N R. Right? So I can cancel out this A N R and this A N R and this zero. Right? So I have 1 by 10 is equals to 11 by 100 plus N R. What is N? N is given 2 years. So this is 2R. Right? So I can write 100 plus 2R is equal to 11 times 10 that's 110. Right? So 2R is equal to 110 minus 100 that's 10. 
So therefore, R is equals to 5 percent. Right? So the answer is option C. The banker's gain on a certain sum due one and a half years hence is 325th of the banker's discount. What is the rate percent? So we have been given that the banker's gain is equal to 325th of the banker's discount. Now what is banker's gain? Well banker's gain is actually banker's discount minus the true discount. It is equal to 3 by 25 of the banker's discount. Right? So I can say that true discount is equal to banker's discount minus 3 by 25 banker's discount. Right? So true discount is equal to I have 25 BD minus 3 BD that's 22 times banker's discount divided by 25. Let us put in the formulas. So I can write given the amount the true discount is ANR upon 100 plus NR. Right? This is equals to I have 22 by 25. Banker's discount given the amount is ANR upon 100. So this gets cancelled out. I have 2500 is equals to this 100 plus NR goes to the right. So this is 2200 plus 22 NR. Correct? So I have 22 NR is equals to 2500 minus 2200 that is 300. So R is equals to 300 divided by I have 22 times N. Well what is N? N is 1.5. 1 and half years. So 300 divided by 22 times 1.5. Okay. So this is equals to 300 divided by 22 times 1.5 is 33. Okay. Now 3 times 100 is 300 and 3 times 11 is 33. And if you divide 100 by 11, you will get 9 1 by 11 as the answer. So this will be in percentage because this is the rate of interest. Right, so the answer is option B.